Hello and welcome to my new video. I recently got two new toys, the Xeon Crane Plus Gimbal and a Ciroy Monopod. They are both great on their own, but when you combine them you can get some really nice looking shots. So in today's video I want to show you some tips and tricks for using a gimbal with a monopod and I will also show you how I did the filming of the shots you saw before. The first tip is to remove the quarter inch adapter from the gimbal and use the 3 8 inch thread to connect the gimbal to the monopod. This will provide a more stable connection between the two. The second tip is that you could install a phone holder on the monopod and then you could use your camera app on the phone to control the image you are taking or you could use the Xeon app and control your gimbal with the smartphone. For controlling the gimbal you could also use the remote control that is available for the Cyan Crane Plus. And now let's get into the movements. The first movements are the jib like movements where you stand in one place and move the monopod gimbal combo either up and down or left to right. When you have a monopod with a small tripod at the bottom you can make the movements uh, more stable when you lean the small tripod against your body. You could also let the monopod stand in one place and just use the moving time-lapse function of the Crane Plus to create some shots with camera movement. The following shots I call fake drone shots because when you move with the gimbal and monopod combination high up in the air, the shots you get look a bit like drone shots. You could also start low and move the gimbal up higher when getting close to an edge or to the subject you want to film. The last thing I want to show you is a beefed up version of the selfie stick. It's not so convenient to use because it is pretty heavy and you have difficulties to frame the subject and of course the selfie sticks is also in the frame when you use wide angle lenses. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you have other ideas of how to use a gimbal and a monopod together or how to use a gimbal with other gear. For instance, I came up with the idea of using the gimbal on the boom stand. You can get some even smoother shots with this combination. But of course, this combination is not as portable as a gimbal and a monopod. So if you like this video, please click the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to get uh, more videos in the future. And I hope to see you next time.